Hello, hello. How are we doing? Oh my god. <clears throat> another day, another day of Honkai Star Row. As you know. Whew. Hello, hello, someone I don't know. How are you doing? Hello, Nick Nicola? N Nicola? It's not, not a. Oh, you're a new sub. No, oh, follow, sorry. I keep saying sub, I think YouTube. New follow. Wel welcome. <clears throat> I haven't seen you before. Hello. Hello, Lex. Hello, Foco. Hello. Hello. How's it all going? Um, I hope... Let me turn down the music. It's a little bit loud. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay. So. Hello. Kazahana Brudge. <laughs> hello. Holy shit, there is a lot of you. Hello, hello. <laughs> so pretty much, um, what did I miss in the last stream? So pr uh, pretty much, not much happened to be honest last stream. We kind of just leveled up a bit. We did some missions, talked about some of the characters and stuff. And we will be doing a bit of that today. But also, I have completed all of the main story. Uh, thank you for Thundery, e uh, Thundery M for the follow. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I've, I've pretty much completed the entire story of... Uh, Honkai. Like, I, obviously, I've got all the side stories to do, so I will keep doing them. But I've completed all the main story. I've got the, the little, the little, uh, what do you call it? Message saying, "Hey, hey, man, you you need to uh, you need to wait for the next update. You you've done too much." And I was like, "Bro, what? Huh? Huh? How?" <laughs> so yeah, we we gotta wait for the next update. Thank you, Bin Tang, for the follow as well. And uh, there's many of you new here from YouTube, so welcome, welcome, and thank you, new me for the follow. Oh my god, hello, all of you. Kazu you fool, but also wow. Yeah, um, I kind of got a bit far in the story. And also, I did a bit of pull it, pulling last night. Um, I may have swiped a little bit. Hello, hello. Um, so I'm just gonna give you a quick look at <laughs> which character I got. Oh, you could probably see it in the corner there. We got Bailu. Now, um I don't know how I feel about that one. Uh I do have a weapon. So it kind of worked out really good, and she's actually a really good healer. She so she actually um, managed to carry me through the world three because I was struggling a bit with world three, and it was like eh. But I actually managed to get through world three, so we could be trying world four today. Um, we might actually give that a go. I might get a little bit annoyed, but hey, we'll see how it goes. You bought the express card, yeah. The express card is really useful. I used to do it all the time. Like obviously, you got the um, the what you call it on the Welkin in um, Genshin. And so I I always uh, bought that as well because you know it's like really cheap and you get a crap ton of Prima gems or or even Stellar Jade in this case. Hey yo hey yo I won't be here long sadly oh that's fine that's fine I think we're gonna have a pretty short stream today anyways but it, it's fine. Um and also um as you know we've got drops on so even if you want to stay around just to keep the drops you know just keep me on the background or something that's completely fine. Uh, cause yeah, we we all need to get that stellar jade, honestly. <laughs> cause today, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be trying to just get as much um, stellar jade and pools as possible. Cause I need to get up to this three hundred threshold to get my Himiko, or even get a early. But I don't know. I don't know about my luck. Let's test my luck now, okay? Let's test my luck now. Maybe, maybe I'll get I'll get a five star, you know? Okay, no, I don't. But I, uh, hey. It, it it always adds up to uh yeah, is there any free to play Bronya? Um, kind of. So, oh wait, we got a four star. Wait, that's a pretty good. Wait, 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 wait. Let it cook. Ooh, wait. Subscribe for more. Holy shit, that's kind of cool. I wonder what that works well on. I'll, I'll have a little look. Um, so free to play Bronya. Um, so uh, I assume you're meaning just uh, like an alternative for Bronya. A good alternative for Bronya would be a character like Tingyun, and I managed to get Tingyun the other day as well. Kaza, what is your best tip for new players of Honkai Star Rail? So, new Hon Honkai Star... Oh, hang on. Let me finish this first and I'll get onto it. Yeah, free-to-play uh, Bronya, Tingyun is, like, the best uh, free-to-play buffer. And, you know, is a good alternative for Bronya. Bronya is obviously the best. But, you know, not all of us can get Bronya. <laughs> but Bronya is definitely one of the highest... If you don't have her already, 
I, you know, you got this thing on your warp where you get 300, uh, 300 wishes, you're getting guaranteed. Then Bronya is definitely the one that you want to be getting because she is insane. Like, she helps, she boosts your damage so much. But yeah, Tingyun is probably your best bet because, you know, she's quite easy to build and relatively easy to get. I say easy to get, like, she should be because she's a four star. And I know a lot of people have get four stars and they got Tingyun, like, first time. But. I'm level 35, and I've literally only just got Tingyun. So, yeah, that's the, but that that just could be my luck. I, honestly, I have the worst luck in the world. Thank you, Ad King, for the, the follow, by the way. What if no Tingyun? Um, well, you just have to... So, pretty much, you, we're pretty limited on characters in Honkai at the moment, just because of how, like, you know, it's a new game. But I'd say the only one else to go for is probably Aster, because obviously Aster, you get just get straight up. She provides a little bit of speed and stuff, which is quite nice. And yeah. Uh, doesn't she also do like fire, to boost fire damage? Oh no, she deals fire damage. I know she boosts a little bit. So yeah, she's pretty good as well. <laughs> Kafka Mommy, hello, hello. I don't know if you changed your name or you've made an account like completely for Kafka. Pila, oh yeah, Pila as well, Pila. Uh, Pila can also buff, can't she? Deals ice damage. Yeah. So Pila or Asta or whoever, they're, they're, they're both pretty good. Um, yeah, so what's what's my tips for new players of Honkai Star Rail? So pretty much, I'd say debuff. Oh, debuff, that's it, sorry. Uh, don't forget to answer, yeah, I'm answering the question. So new players of Honkai. Um, I did make a little video on this, but um, new players of Honkai, I would just say... So I, I did say in my video to not waste your fuel, but... But, there's a big but, I did a little bit of research, I did a little bit of research, and it's not actually too bad to waste some of your fuel. I'm at like, how much fuel now? I'm at like 20 something. And I used quite a bit of it to just level myself up, and people made some good points in the comments, um, that, it, oh, okay, I'm at 11. Um, but as people made some good, good points in the comments that it actually helps you to level up quicker. So say if you want to get to the, you know, end game content, then, and you don't really want to go through all of these boring, like, message quests and stuff, then actually it's it's a pretty good uh, option to, to you know, use your fuel and just sit and autoplay through the, um, I don't know, credits or something like that. You could, like, farming credits and, and like, um, what do you call it, like, the level up materials isn't a bad thing at all, because obviously it will help your characters in the future. So, yeah, if, if you want to do that, then it, actually it's a viable way. How you got E2 hook E2 hook, how good is Hook? Hook is very good. I've heard Hook is good. I don't really use them. Um just because I don't really like the character that much. But yeah, for like a new new player, it's actually pretty good. Manage the fuel usage is the best advice. Yeah, exactly. So manage it well. Don't use it all. Don't use all of your fuel on it. Cause you just don't want to do that. Okay, is it like you, you can use it for farming late level up materials. It's cause it's it's kinda like fragile resin. It's exactly like fragile resin. Hook is good, not the strongest DPS, of course. Yeah. So Hook is good, uh, especially if you're free to play. Free to play is really good. All right, so we're going to try do World 3. We're going to have a little go at it. Um, I heard that either the Hunt or I think it was Remembrance is pretty good at this. Okay, so we need... So I'm going to go Bailu, Bronya for the buff. Uh, what else are we going to go? I say Welt is good for damage. Yeah, Welt is good for damage. Um, it, but obviously, not everyone can get Welt. Okay, we're, we're going to have to go Sila here. Svarog is annoying, by the way. Okay. I will keep that in mind. Um, honestly, I might... I might go Serval here, actually. Because Tingyun didn't do enough damage. Okay, thanks for the tip, Kazan. No problem, no problem. Yeah, if you got any, like, questions about it, about it then you, you can ask me. I, I like... Honestly, honestly, I think I'm a bit more <laughs> in touch with all the Honkai Star Rail tips than I am Genshin, honestly. But it's I I can answer questions about both of them. So, uh, yeah, thank you, uh, Big Melon, for the follow. <laughs> uh, interesting name. You've all got very interesting names, by the way. Uh, I'm still waiting for Blade or Lucha. Oh yeah, wait, which one's Lucha? Is that the one with the the blindfold? I haven't really read into that. Um, the destruct. Wait, we got. Should I go destruction path on this? I just went uh, hunt on here, just because uh, I, I I read a few guides. I did a little bit of research before fighting this, so I just thought, okay, maybe the hunt will be better. Uh, I'm just gonna reset this. Can I get a hunt? Yeah, nice. I'm gonna give it a go of the hunt, and if not, we'll do destruction. I just I used destruction on the last one, and I didn't actually like it as much. 
I preferred um I preferred um the hunt to destruction. But obviously, um I know later is it floor six? Uh, not floor, uh world six. You need to use um one of the other ones. I forgot which one it was, because the it's one the one against Kafka. And you need like a certain one because it uh helps with like getting rid of uh debuffs and stuff. I always go preservation just because it's really easy to do if you have a single shielder. Yeah, that's fair enough. Uh, it depends on your team composition as well. I like the hunt just because it gives it gives that like extra damage if you get what I mean. Because I, I it's just it's just so nice whenever you don't you know you have the little so you have like the main guy and then um you have the main guy and then you have the little smaller guys around that buff them or whatever. The hunt can just like get rid of them quite easily most of the time or at least get them really low so you can just finish them off. Which I really like, but destruction also does that. So, uh, uh, oh, okay. Do I reset this one or do I stay on this one? Ah, uh, hmm. Let's just. I'm gonna reset it. Okay. Well, I don't have any choice. Is uh, destruction is also t kind of tanky. Yeah, yeah. So destruction is like there. I there's a simple guide. I'm gonna skip this one. Um, destruction. I saw a little guide on Twitter. I think it was was it Ten Hurt or someone like that. No, it was someone else. Um, I might uh, make it like a increased um, what do you call it? Like a further guide on it on my YouTube. But pretty much, th there's there's a very very simplified version of what each of them do. So hunt is just like big damage. Uh, thank you, uh, Hu Tao Main, for the follow. You're based for being a Hu Tao Main, by the way. Um, yeah. So the hunt is like pretty much just big damage. If you want to do big damage, then the hunt is great. Um, I think so, and then preserv was it no, not pres preservation. Destruction was oh yes, let's go. Um, so and then destruction was like tanky kind of um, a damage, so it was tank and damage. Uh, and then I'm not too sure on the other ones. I I'll have to have a little look at it. But the other two, they were like, um, so one of them was just like all tank. One of them was like all heals, and you know they they were very like specialized. And then some of them were a bit of a mix, like destruction, bit of a mix. So, you know, uh, there, there are some that are good at other other stuff. There's some for like debuffing as well, as I said, which is really useful for some of these uh, worlds because some of them you do need to debuff. Uh, yeah, but, but also I try to speak about Bailu real quick. I whenever I got Bailu, I wasn't too happy because, as you know, I really want Himiko. You can probably tell by the title, I really want Himiko. Uh, mm, I'll reset. Yes. Um, I really want Himiko, so... Okay, we've already got the hunt, and that's great. I really want Himiko, and so I'm probably going to have to get her through the guaranteed system. Sorg's last summon summons the hand that can steal your character. Okay, oh yeah, yeah, like the like the actual boss fight. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I really want Himiko, but I'm probably going to have to get her through guaranteed. And so, that that's okay, that's okay, I because I can do that. But I got Bailu. And I thought, oh great, I'm gonna end up using because obviously for free to play, you, you're probably gonna pick C or oh, E6 Natasha over Bailu because you know she she does like a lot more at E6 and it's easier to get her constellations. Thank you, Eat Burgers Throw Up Again. That is a weird name, but welcome and hello, hello. <laughs> um, yeah. So Natasha might be a bit better. But at the same time, uh, yeah, I tried Bailu. I tried Bailu, and she's actually great. There's one thing that Natasha... Uh, I think Natasha has it at E6, so I, I've only got her at, like, E3. Posture check? Okay, my posture check. I only have her at E3, so uh, I'm not too sure. I haven't actually really looked into Natasha, but I think she can revive at E6, if I'm right. Someone can... Uh, yeah, exactly. I think she can... I think Natasha can also E6. I, don't quote me on that. Someone might have to back me up on that one. But I think she can also revive at E6. But Bailu, straight off the bat, can revive. And in um, whenever I was doing World 3, oh my god. That helped so much. Like, honestly, it's insane how much that actually helped. <laughs> like, it is insane how much like her revive helped. It carried me. Because like my character would die. Because I completely forgot she had that function until she did it. And then I was like... What the hell? Like, my characters are still alive. I can keep going, and then everything was saved, and it was, it was great. So she is a great character. Hello, how are you guys? Hello, Hutan Maid. Hello. 
Um, right, I think it's good to just focus with uh, Serval here. Just get the shield down a little bit. Uh, maybe let's just use a bit of the hunt. I probably should have used it whenever the uh, the other little bombs come out, but it's fine. Bailu was my first 5 star and she helped me out a lot. Yeah, like honestly, Bailu is probably a, like one of the best 5 stars you can get early game, you know? Especially if you're free to play as well. If you're free to play and you haven't got like an E6 Natasha, that's actually really useful. And also her little restore thing, so much better than Natasha's because it can heal more than one per person, which is really good. Um, but yeah, uh, I should probably use my ults and stuff. Um, yeah, so I want Bailu, however, I'm probably going to end up dedicating a ton to Bronya for maximum buffing. Yeah, exactly. So there's a couple must-have five stars, uh, like especially early, early game that can help you out a lot. And... Um, yeah, they, they can help you out a lot, and I recommend going for them. And Bronya is one of them. So you've got Bronya and Bailu, which are really uh, useful um, characters. Obviously, uh, it's it's not guaranteed on the limited time, but uh, Sila is actually very good, obviously, because she's a limited time limited time character. So, yeah. she But she does a crap ton of damage, but obviously not everyone's as lucky. So I wouldn't suggest, like... You know, putting everything into that, but hey, if you wanna, go ahead. Um, and who else is uh, must have really? Because yeah, you could also go for like if you don't have like a damage dealer, like Sila, then you could probably go for like Himiko or someone like that that could deal quite a bit of damage as well. But obviously, you you would want a Bronya or a Tingyan to back up your to back up your um, you know your DPS character. Else, you know, you it, you'll do all right. But, like, Bronya just improves my team, like, it, like, so my team's pretty good, but Bronya, like, doubles how good my team is, <laughs> if you get what I mean. Ooh. Okay, let's reset this one. Okay, there we go. Nice. I was about to say, that wasn't a very good option there. So, what do you think, uh, they're gonna add to, add a PvP system? Um, I doubt it, to be honest. Uh, hang on, let me just read this a sec. Upon entering, increases damage for every 100. Nah, don't really like that one. Uh, randomly gain one blessing. Uh, oh, one blessing of elation. I'm gonna have to go this one actually. Um, so yeah, do I think they add a PvP system? Yeah, no, I doubt they will. Just because it, just how Hoyaverse operates, they have never really added a PvP thing into their games. I don't know about Honkai Impact. I haven't played much Honkai Impact, but obviously Genshin. You know, the only PvP we've really got is is fucking TCG. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be really unfair. Obviously, you have other games like, um, what was it? Was it Epic 7? Or something like that, which um, they have PvP, but like they don't care how unbalanced it is. It just makes people spend more on the game so they can do better. Um, but yeah, which is better, Clara or Sila? Um, it, it, so it depends what you want, really. Um, Clara is better at tankier, tank, tankier damage. Whereas Sila is just good for damage, you know? So if you want, like, a good, like, tanky character, then Clara is better. But if you just want someone who does, like, a crap ton of damage, I think Sila does quite a bit more damage than her, but also can't tank as much. So it depends what you're really going for. Tingyan seems better than Bronya. Uh, I really doubt that. I'd like, it's... So there's a couple things that... Um, what do you call it? They add up to make her a little bit better. Like, they are both really good characters, and Tingyun is definitely very good for um, a four-star. Like, she's insane for a four-star. Like, no four-star should be that good, but apparently, apparently, the higher verse were like, yep, that's Adam. Um, but Ting, um, the difference between Tingyun and Bronya is Tingyun can um, boost the attack of, um, you know, uh, a, a character, but the, the thing is, Bronya can do that also, but also have them go on the next turn, you know? So with this support, I'll show you now, She could go. St I could go straight to Sila, and I could instantly do damage for Sila, whereas Tingyun, I have to wait for her turn. So and honestly, I think that's one reason why Bronya is a little bit better, because you can actually choose when your character can go. Obviously, she doesn't do that with her ult, but you can combine the ult and the uh, support to actually, um, you know, support your character. Uh, let's go again. Okay, maybe not. But yeah, that, that's why uh, Bronya is a little bit better. 
but yeah, Tingyun is still a great character. Like she's she's like amazing, especially if you don't have Bronya. <laughs> if you don't have Bronya, then then you're living. You you you're living life if you have Tingyun. But yeah, they're, like they're they're both good characters. So yes, yeah. and you can use them both together and do even more damage. So <laughs> I don't think it really matters uh, too much which one you have. It just depends what you prefer. If you prefer being able to do tons of damage earlier, then maybe uh, Bronya is more for you. Because look, I could just instantly go straight to Sila and fight. Whereas I would have to wait a whole turn, which say, and it could be like pretty critical as well sometimes. So say your, your characters are super, super low on health or something like that. They're super low on health and you have to w use your Tingyan to boost damage. And then you, so you boost Sila's damage, but Sila dies before you can get to Sila. So that that attack boost has just gone down, out the window, you know. Whereas Bronya can take you take you straight to the attack boost, which could possibly save your entire run. Obviously, though, it, it depends what um like in in the world it's in the worlds it's quite annoying. The simulated worlds it's quite annoying because um obviously you have to do the whole thing again. But against like normal enemies, I guess it's not that annoying. Yeah, I ha I have both. I use Tingyun more for skill points since Bronya uses them all. Okay, sorry. Uh, right. So yeah, Bronya uses them all. Yeah, Bronya does have a big um like amount of um skill point usage, but honestly, I don't really notice it that much. At first, the Zhengshou um, starship is a normal starship. Wait, I, I thought I, I I'm not sure really. I, I need to um I did say to myself whenever I was because I was playing the Zhengshou um what do you call it the the story, I I, I said to myself I was going to read into the lore a little bit more. So um, yeah, I, I I will read into it a little bit more and just kind of understand it because I can then make a couple of videos on it, which is be quite nice because I'm, I'm actually quite interested in it like whenever the whole tree uh well spoilers uh actually i, I won't say much um I, I won't say anything i don't want to spoil it for you uh but like the the whole just that whole arc there it, it kind of got me a, a little bit more interested in in the whole story like uh f at, at the beginning with bellabog and stuff i was quite interested but not as interested as i am now all right attacks from path resonance the hunt guaranteed to crit enemies with hp lower than that when using Path Resonance, the character with the highest attack will instantly act and become Light Hunting Celestial Arrow. Doubles the energy limit of Path Resonance. Path Resonance regenerates energy. Uh, let's do this one. I think I chose this one last time and it helped quite a lot. So, thing is, all of these... <laughs> this, this is the annoying thing about the simulated worlds. Usually, I'm, like, I'm going to say I'm gonna say this and I'm going to die to this, bo this boss right now. But usually, all of these small enemies are pretty easy to defeat. <laughs> usually. But, yeah. It, it's always the last one. <laughs> Hello, little bot. <laughs> Welcome, and, uh, yeah, get timed out. Uh, right. But, yeah. Um, usually, they're pretty easy to beat, so it's really annoying whenever you're doing the simulated world. <laughs> and then, you defeat all of these, you get to the boss, and then die. And you're just like, ah, oh, bro. What the hell? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Wait. Okay, no. Oh, wait, no, it's fine. Because the thing is, yeah, that's, that's the thing as well with Bailu. I, I don't have to worry about characters dying. Well, sometimes. It, it depends. Like, obviously, if they get hit twice, then it is quite annoying. I did have that happen a couple times. But most of the time, it's just like, oh, I, I don't have to worry about my character dying because she will just revive them. Uh... I think she revives them twice, doesn't she? Like, the first time she revives them with quite a bit of health. And then, um, the second time she does it with, um, uh, less health. But, it's still useful. See, so there's, like, not. See, look, there we go. Boom. Alive. Oh, boy, not these dudes. Not these guys. Oh. Oh, no! She didn't <laughs> I say that and she didn't even help this one. Oh. Okay. Um, I kind of need Sela. I've got to. I've got. <laughs> nope. We're writing off this one. Oh, thank you, Yelan, for the follow, by the way. What does posture check do? I literally just check my posture. I, I just I just sit up. You just remind me that I need to stop sitting in my gamer pose and uh, 
the setup for once. Obviously, you can't really see that, though. But you will be able to see it, possibly, on uh, on Tuesday. So if you're in the Discord or my Twitter, then um, use Destruction Path. I will, I will. Make Kaza fix his spine. Yeah, pretty much. You're pretty much being my uh, unpaid chiropractor. Uh, do, do I not get anything for that? Oh, okay. Uh, let's do attack boost. You just, yeah, yeah. I, I will use Destruction Path. But to be honest, I can't be asked for Simulate World right now. Let's let's do something else. Let's do something else. Uh, what do we need to do here? Complete one daily mission. Oh wait, do we get to go see Thingy again? Oh wait, Wobble Wobaboo. What is it? They actually called Wobaboo. Is that is that? A, I don't think that's a real name. Oh wait, no no no. That, that's the little thingies, isn't it? They annoyed me so much last time. Whenever you had to take pictures of them or something, bro. Mm -mm. That that was that was my least favorite quest. I dropped my phone on the drainage water thing. Now my phone is wet. Oh, God. What phone do you have, though? Because some of them are waterproof, aren't they? With, like, Apple phones. They're usually quite uh, quite waterproof. Uh, right, let's do this. Defeat the monsters surrounding Wobaboo. Who the hell designed this character? What the hell? Are we, are we talking this one? Okay. A Xiaomi? Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe they might not be waterproof. <laughs> right. Let's keep going. I haven't actually played uh, Honka on uh, mobile yet. Is it any good on mobile? Is, is anybody? Does any? Is there any mobile players in chat? Because yeah, I, I haven't played it. I don't, I don't know how good it is. But like, it probably wouldn't even be able to run on my phone because Genshin can't even run on my phone. Because <laughs> like my, my PC, every time I play Honka on my PC, it it gets super hot, like really hot, like more than like. A lot of uh, like PC built games. Oh, is there more monsters? Oh my god. Okay. Uh, yeah, it gets like more hot than like a lot of like AAA games on my computer, and I'm just like, why? This is just Honkai. This is supposed to be a mobile game. At least the water didn't go in the speakers. Oh, true, true. Oh yes, water in the speakers is horrible. <laughs> that's probably yeah. That's probably like, the worst thing it could go into. Or, actually, no, to be honest, like, the, the actual uh, internals of it is probably worse. Um, we, is there more, like, down here? I'm trying to look for... Oh, there's some down there. Is that what they mean? Oh, they mean there? What? Okay. Let's do this. I can play Genshin and Honkai Star World perfectly fine on your phone. Oh, okay, that's pretty good, then. My sister plays it on mobile, and apparently it runs fine. Oh. I guess it's more optimized, isn't it, for uh, mobile use? Did I go too high? Oh, it's down there. I see it. Oh, I thought it was the one. Oh, okay. How do I? How do I get down there? It's really annoying that they don't have similar Genshin uh, physics. How like? Because you know, in Genshin, I'd just be able to jump down and fly down there. But now I've got to actually find a way to get down there. Oh, there's a chest over there. I'll go get that. But the controls are annoying. As some people who normally play with a controller, I saw it. Oh, really? I thought it'd be quite easy to do it all, uh... Ooh, let's get that chest too, actually. Um, I thought it'd be quite easy to do it all mobile. So you can see this is a turn-based game. I know Genshin's quite hard to play. Because, obviously, you have to be a bit more precise with your, um... With your movements. But I thought it'd be quite easy to play on mobile. Because you just click in, like, one or two buttons. <laughs> Thank you for the subs. <laughs> Thank you, uh... Uh, d definitely someone I don't know. <laughs> Um, yeah. You can teleport? Yeah, oh wait, yeah, no, but I can find a teleport point. Is, is there one below? Am I, am I just being stupid? Mobile is laggy. Oh, really? I guess it depends what mobile you're on, though, isn't it? God damn. <laughs> mobile is laggy. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, because like, Genshin was laggy on my, on my phone, so, and, because I, like, one time I was like, oh, I really need to do my daily commissions today. And, oh, I probably should have done that before. Um, I was like, I really need to do my daily commissions today. And then I was like, but I can't get home. And then I just realized that um, that I could just play it on my phone. And then I tried to play it on my phone. And, no, I did actually complete my commissions, to be fair. I did actually, like, f finish them. But it wasn't, it was the worst experience I've ever had of playing Genshin in my life. <laughs> Also, I just realized Dragnil finally got a follow- <laughs> finally got a sub. Congrats, Dragnil. If you're still here. 
you're always here, and so you're always a, what do you call it, like a long time viewer. Right. I can get this one. I found it so. Have, have any of you seen this? So there's a similar boss, not boss, uh, what do you call it? Um, okay, is that her dead? No, okay, she's alive. Um, there's a similar, like, um, enemy like this that stands, like, right at the beginning. Whenever you play, like, you know, like, right at the beginning, uh, you run towards the. Uh, what do you call it? The it's like in the tutorial, on the left, and um, it's so, so you run out and on the left. There's like a there's a chest like this one with a, a similar boss, bro. I I couldn't complete that in the first time. I couldn't complete that the first time, obviously, because all my characters were low. I went there at like level forty, still couldn't complete it. Still couldn't complete it. I did actually finally complete it the other day. I think I did it on stream actually, but that was wait like that was harder than it should have been. <laughs> Like they put that there for early game people, and I'm there with my level 40 characters going in, at barely being able to complete it. I'm still here, I'm just playing Ocarina of Time. Oh, nice, nice. It's left from the place you teleport. So from English, I'm from Germany. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. We've got a lot of German viewers. Uh, Genshin is the only one a little bit laggy on my phone, and other times it's not laggy at all. It's only whenever it starts raining. Yeah, no, Genshin does have that thing. I guess, does it get laggy whenever you go to, like, Dragon Spine as well? I can imagine that. Because, you know, Dragon Spine's pretty big. It, like, whenever you go to, like, big places, I can imagine that, you know, it's a bit laggy. My phone runs Genshin 50 times better than my terrible PC. Damn. Wait, serious? Uh, no, I guess so. No, that, that makes sense. I, it depends how terrible your PC is, though. Maybe, have you, have you, like, do you have bad specs, or have you just, like, not updated anything? Because <laughs> it could just be that. Okay. You got an iPhone 12 Pro? Wait, and it lags on that? It lags when it rains? Like, uh, I guess it is Apple's kind of way, though. They, they, they always, um, what do you call it? They downgrade their phones whenever they bring out new ones. <laughs> hello, hello, Kuro. <laughs> oh, thank you for the follow, Kuro, by the way. I, d I did spell that one. Uh, yeah, iPhone 11 compared to the a Lenovo touchscreen that was specifically designed for... Oh, okay, yeah. On a Lenovo, I can kind of see why. <laughs> oh, there's another one here? Oh, my God. We're lucky today. Uh, how are we doing this one, then? Oh no, we do this, this, this. Oh my god, I'm so smart. There we go. Um, your iPhone 11 doesn't like at all? Yeah, I was about to say. But like, I don't know. It, it depends whether you update your phone as well. I'm not an iPhone user, but I'm pretty sure, d doesn't it um, lag a bit more whenever you um, whenever you update your phone? Only whenever it's thundering and rain. Okay, well, yeah. But still, an iPhone 12 should, shouldn't do that really, should it? <laughs> In my in my books, that's still quite a new phone. <laughs> you could play well for level thirty four. Jesus Christ! I mean, yeah, like I'm pretty sure anybody could like, complete it at a pretty low level. It's just whether you have the actual um, what do you call it, mental capacity to a think of a think of, of a good um, build, think uh, well not build uh, what do you call it? team combination, choose the right path, be lucky with your um, all of your like upgrades and stuff. And then, yeah, just be lucky in your fights as well. Because a, a lot of fights sometimes, it's just lucky. Like, you're just like, how the hell did I win that one? <laughs> <clears throat> if I want Genshin on st Star on my phone, I just kind of have anything else. Yeah, no, that's actually... So, is it... I don't think um, actual performance of the game is is bad on your phone. I think it's... Isn't it just, like, the actual storage? <laughs> you have to just decide which game you want. <laughs> um... What C is my Sealy? Uh, she is C or E zero. She's E zero. I, I I'm not swiping to get C E one or anything. She's good as uh, sh she is really. Uh, e E one. She's great. I'm sure she's better at a higher level. I, wait, let me go through her E's actually. Hello, Ellie. Hello, Ellie. Um, let me have a little look. Uh, so E1, when dealing damage to an enemy whose HP percentage is 80% or lower, crit rate is... Oh, okay. That's pretty decent, but she has a pretty high crit rate anyways. Speed boost. Okay. Uh, skill level up, obviously. Energy. Okay. I mean, yeah. Actually, no, that one's really good. E4. E4 seems pretty decent because if you don't know about Sila, she actually um, she incorporates 
uh, just like passive. So it will, it will incorporate into a passive where she does a lot of um, damage. You know, if you get what I mean. She does. So she does. She does damage, and then it goes back to her, and she do more damage, and then she goes back to her again. So you can kind of just like one shot it, and it allows you to you know use more um, more of her special moves rather than her standard one. Because it can be annoying when it goes back to her, and you don't have enough energy to use her special move. Well, special move. You go, you go. I mean, enhanced move. Buy the card from her to shop. Wait, which card? Uh, I've I've pretty much used all of my credits from her to shop. So hang on, let me have a little look. Oh wait, we got to finish this first. Hold up, we get we're getting sidetracked. Wait, how do I get to this? Do I just teleport lower? Um. Wait, let here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, there we go. You got C1 Sealer, and it's so good, really. Yeah, no, so she gets crit rate boost. That's that's all right. It would be nice if she got a little bit of a damage boost from one of them. You still have 600,000 credits. Oh, nice. I think I've got like a million or something. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I have like a million. Well, I did like yesterday. I might have, because I did, because you know you get your level up uh, stuff for leveling up your characters and ascending them. You get some free wishes. So, yeah, that's that's what I try to do. Ho, ho Honlin Hat. Thank you for the follow. Oh my, I I struggle I struggle with a lot of usernames these days. <laughs> You've got some very creative ones, but it's nice. It's nice. I've got I think two mil, and I constantly ascended. Yeah, we want to fight this guy. Not oh, we could have investigated him. Never mind. <laughs> we didn't have to fight him, but I guess we are now. <laughs> my bad. You think you are yeah two mil? I constantly ascend. Okay, yeah. Um, but also, I did use a lot of my fuel on credit. Um, I used a lot of my fuel on, like, you know, getting credits in the, the Calyxes. Just because, just to get the XP. You, as I was saying earlier, it's okay. I think, I'm going back on what I said on my videos, that I think it's actually okay to use fuel. I think it's okay to use fuel to level up, like, early game. Because you do get quite a ton. I, I had a little think about it. I used all of my Fragile Resil pretty well in... Um, Engaging, but it didn't really help me out that much and that I still get a ton now You know, I'm not like behind on I'm not like oh my god. I wish I had a ton of fragile resin I'm not uh, it, it doesn't bother me really. I always get it even late game So I think that's gonna be similar this time. I'm, I'm always gonna get more fuel. So it'll be all right How many pool did you use for sealer? I think I went all the way. I have the work. I have the worst luck I'm not I'm, I'm gonna tell you if, if you're new here don't expect any lucky pulls. You're going to expect me, like, molding at the fact that I didn't get a character. Hello, am I late? Only about 40 minutes late, but uh, that's fine. As long as you're here at some point, that's great. Um, yeah, I'm, like, the most unluckiest person whenever it comes to any gacha game at all. Actually, apart from Nikkei, I'm actually... I've almost got every SSR in Nikkei, so, you know, you know. Um, but, yeah, 90 pity. Uh, I don't think it was 90 pity. I think it was, like... Uh, it was somewhere around 70 or 80, I think. Oh, wait, hang on, we can have a look. Let, let's have a look a minute. I think it was like 70 or something. It, it wasn't, it definitely wasn't early. Nope, got Hemiko. Oh, nice. You used 150 pools. Got, oh, oh, you didn't get um, Sealer. To be honest, I would probably take Hemiko over Sealer. But that's my opinion, just because I like, I like Hemiko for, as you, you know exactly why I like Himiko. Uh... You got Clara, then Sila. That that's that's pretty decent. You got a nice tanky character, and then you got a nice uh, just damage dealing overall character. Uh, but yeah, I mean, at least you you have a guaranteed now. Uh, Sila guaranteed. Bias. OG, am I by Ive? Yeah. Well, as you as you know, there's a lot of K-pop on my um, on my playlists, so you'll hear a lot of that during stream. Uh, after seventy four, you can have a higher chance to go five zero. Yeah, yeah. So you go into soft pity. Obviously, it was the thing in Genshin as well. So we got wait two, five. So wait, oh wait, we're right on two at the end. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. Wait, fuck, no, wait. I can't count. I can't count. <laughs> I can't count. Chat. I, I promise. I, I can count. I can count. I can count. I, I got sidetracked. I got sidetracked. I swear, I swear. Guys, guys, I, I can count, I can count, I can count. Did you get uh, Ting Yun today? I, I got Ting Yun yesterday. But yeah, I, I, I did get her finally. Thank God. I got her on the free temple you get at level 35. Right. 
Let's do this right this time. I'm actually going to pay attention. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Oh, okay. Actually, no, I got it pretty early, though. Uh, so 40, what, 49 plus 2, so 51. I got it at 51 pity. Actually, that's really good. Well, not really good, but that's pretty decent. 21 pity. I did a 10 point, my phone crashed. Oh, no. Did you still get the characters, though? You should have. As long as you got the characters, I think that's all right, isn't it? God. Imagine your phone crashing. I, my, my computer does sometimes go a bit funny whenever the Wish animation comes up. Or even, no, it always goes funny whenever I go to um the new place, uh, the Zhuang whatever place. Tingyun and Sampo are my only four stars I don't own. Oh, really? I don't have Sampo either, I don't think. Uh, But yeah. You got it at 50. You got it at 50? You got it at 50? Oh, right. Nice. Nice. Right. We should be able to do a pull here. I'm like. I'm, just, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, my luck is the worst. I'm about, what, 10, 10 pity in? I'm 10 pity in. And th th this isn't going to go good, okay? Watch, watch, okay? I want Himiko, for the record. Anyone here who doesn't know, hasn't, hasn't read the title, I want Himiko. And it's not coming home, look. Nope, told you. Not even going to be a four star. You're missing Peeler? I thought she was pretty common. I don't have Sampo, and I really want Sampo for my DOT team. DOT? That's a new abbreviation I've had. Yeah, I'm not that, um, you know, I'm not that set on Sampo at all. I don't really, I don't really care about Sampo. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, these are all the characters that I've got. So, um, the ones that I'll actually use are leveled, okay? So, we got Sila, Bailu, Bronya. So, those are my five stars that I got. And to be honest, I think I've hit the jackpot. Because I've got the best damage dealer, the best dealer, and the best buffer in my team. Plus the second best buffer. Um, damage over time, right. Oh, okay. Okay, damage over time. Okay, that, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. I think I've got E3 Pila. Yeah, I think I've got like E3 or something like that. Uh, so yeah, we, we've got these, we've got the best characters in their, like, you know, respected um, roles. And then after that, we, yeah, we got, so we got Tingyun, and then obviously Trailblazer, everyone gets Trailblazer. And then we've got Natasha at E3, which is pretty, she's pretty decent. Um, March 7th, so so all of, all of these, I leveled up to 50, up to like Pila, Pila, oh no, Pila, I ascended just because I wanted the wish. We might have sent someone else today just for the wish. Because um, I'm literally just trying to build up that pity. No, not pity. Um, Never build pity. Okay. I saw someone in the Discord earlier. Uh, whoever you are. And you and they lost their... No. They lost their... No. They were building up pity for um the characters coming out next uh, next update. On the Sealer banner. And they lost they lost their pity. They No. They lost their... No. I think they got Sealer. But they wanted the other character because they were building their pity. Just save your wishes, or your your warps, or whatever they're called. Just save them. You don't need to wish. I I, I know it's a, I know. Uh, to be honest, I can kind of tell why because you want to get those four stars. But like, are you really gonna run that risk? If you want that character so bad, then you know, you, you're gonna save your wishes. Just or, just build up those um, these the what do you call it the limited time wishes. Build them up, and then just use everything else your stellar jade on the standard banner. So that you can get, you know, or even the, or the even the beginner banner, so you can get those four stars, you know. Passive wishing is fine. Building pity is not. Yeah, exactly. If you're passive wishing and you don't care if you get Sila, and like if you got Sila, you know, and it's just like, oh, okay, that's all right, then you do that. That's that's fine. I I passive wish on Genshin, but um, yeah, it's just like, yeah, I I do have YouTube uh, Kuro. You can use exclamation mark YouTube. It'll come up, or it's down below, like below this stream, um. Yeah, so uh, what was I talking about? <laughs> I got off. Oh yeah, so if yeah, if you're just passively wishing and you want to get C C like you don't mind getting Sealer, then that's 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 totally fine. But building your pity when you specifically want the next character coming out, do not do that. Do not do that. That that is a big no no. Okay, I just sub. Well, thank you, thank you. I just have a huge issue in saving stuff. Yeah, I get that. To be fair, like I am pretty impatient whenever it comes to wishing, as you can tell. 
I literally have like zero Stellar Jade right now and zero wishes. But also, that's just because I am just working towards um, getting Himiko. I, yeah, I, I'm. I'm just. I'm just working towards getting Himiko because, honestly, my uh, what do you call it? My luck is terrible, and I know that I probably won't get Himiko in a five like in a five star pool. Maybe I will in the future, like far into the future, but I reckon I will get to this 300 progress before I do actually get her in a pool. Like I don't even know if I get a five star before I get to this progress. So this is why I'm literally just wishing everything I can on this banner so that I a pull it early, which is a bit like passive passive um what do you call it passive wishing, but not really. Like if I get her, then I that's great because I really want her. But if not, I I'm literally just building up progress to get to her. So that that's why I'm just constantly wishing now. I but like yeah, if if you're waiting for a character, then yeah, obviously um obviously I pull them. How do you get to uh, 227 wishes? Uh, well, it's it's a mix. You, you kind of just grind out the game and also uh, invest in it. Invest in big quotation marks. Like invest with uh, invest with money. Uh, yes, yeah, so you got March seventh. Uh, March seventh, who's great at shielding, and obviously she's really good with her follow up attacks. I really like her follow up attacks. So whenever you get hit. Um, March 7th actually hits them back. A lot of people don't like March uh, uh, March 7th, but I actually really like her for the follow-up attacks rather, and her shields. Her shields are pretty nice too. Um, F for all the Honkai Impact players seeing him occur again. Why not spend it on the special banner? Well, because I already have Sila, okay? I already have Sila, and I don't I don't necessarily want her Eidolons. Uh, Eidolons, 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 whatever you want to call them. I don't necessarily want them. I don't really care. Like, uh, same with a weapon as well. I'm gonna get like an as good weapon at some point, but w what I do want, the, literally, I think the only character I want now is Himiko. <laughs> so why not? So pretty much, I'm just putting all my wishes towards Himiko to get that guaranteed Himiko. That's why I'm not wishing on the special banner, because I've already wished on the special banner. If if I didn't have Sila, then yeah, I would be wishing on the uh, the special banner. But yeah, we got Asta. She's alright. I haven't really used her much, but yeah, she's 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 been pretty decent when I have used her. Uh, we got oh Ching Ching. Is it Ching Chu? I I keep I keep like getting these names wrong. I think it's Ching Ching Chu, something like that. I don't know. Anyways, um, she's cool. She's very RNG. If you if you don't know what her playstyle's like, she pretty much just she's she's your average gacha player. She's literally your average gacha player. She she gambles. And sometimes she loses. So if she loses, then you do like a little bit of damage. But if she wins, you win big. So it depends what you uh, if you want to gamble. But she's a lot of fun to play because um, yeah, the RNG is quite fun whenever you do get that big damage. And also it's quite um, yeah, like animation style and just like how she works is just fun overall compared to all of these like literally all of them almost all of the other characters. She's like way more fun. Yeah, without any building, she could do like fifty to a thousand damage. Yeah, exactly. It, it, it varies so much. We got Serval. She's pretty decent. Uh, I've got Himiko's weapon on her at the moment, so that's going straight on Himiko whenever we do get her. Uh, but Serval's good. She's good for like the is it, is it Electro? Is is that what it's? I need to already learn the names. Lightning, sorry, Lightning type. She's a very good Lightning type, and she can her burst can like damage quite a lot of people like around. On Google Translate is Ching. Chinku, uh, I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah. So she's she's decent for with her. Yeah, her burst is really good. Um, for like spreading out the damage, you know. She, like she's not a very, you know, as you as you know, Sila is a single target kind of character. So she takes on single targets. Where Serval can take on multiple, while also can do a lot of damage to a single target too, which is really good. And it's just really useful whenever you're fighting like lightning type characters. I had to go do some stuff for my mum and my brother. My brother used all of my Stellar J for the normal banner. Oh no. If you want Sealer, then that's really bad. But it, it depends what you really want. <laughs> it could be really good if you wanted um if you wanted one of the standard characters. You don't read the EU, the what the what? And also, yeah, I got her at E1. Uh so yeah, I also got Su the uh whenever I was wishing for Himiko and I got Bailu and the other people. I got Su I haven't really tried her out, but I have leveled it up, leveled her up because she was quite interesting. Whenever I uh, played her in the quest, because you get a little trial where you get to play her in the quest at some point, 
and um she was pretty decent and also she's a physical physical character is, is it physical physical yeah got it right nice uh, she's a physical character which there's a lot of physical um bosses so obviously i've got the trailblazer who's a physical but i i want to give her a go just to see how much damage she does compared to the trailblazer because i could use her instead uh but i will i will test her at, at some point she but i just leveled her up for now that, that's what i'm doing and that's that's what you got himiko oh okay that's not too bad then to be fair to be honest i would want himiko <laughs> if I got Hamika that way, I would not. I would not worry. Um, oh, actually, oh no, I did. So Herta, Herta, and Pila, I literally just let, I I ascended because I wanted to get the the free wishes. <laughs> so maybe I might do it on this one too. Let, let's see what Dan Hung needs. Uh, ascend, boom. Uh, do I have the materials that I need to actually ascend them? Because we get a free wish out of this, and just like ascending characters just to get them is pretty nice. Okay, let's let's just do this. I've got some spare um, stuff anyways. But yeah, so those are all the characters that I've got, and like how often I use them. Uh, as you as you know, the best ones I will use, and I think it's a good idea. Like uh, someone was asking about tips for new people. I would say don't just stick to like a four four person team. So by that I mean like don't just like. Did you give up clearing World 4? Yeah, I did. Um, <laughs> we don't talk about that. Um, so yeah, for like a new person, don't just focus on 4. Don't don't fo focus on these 4. Because, uh, like, or whoever, like, you know, whoever you've got. Don't focus on just that 4 team. You want to focus on a range of different types of characters. So you've got the support characters, like Ting Yun. you got Ting Yun, who's a support character. And, you know, there we go. And she attack boosts. That And same with Bronya, attack boost. Whereas you got Sila. Oh, I didn't see that one. So we got uh, we got Sila, who does a lot of damage. And obviously, she's a much different character. So you want to build. Because obviously, if you have a team full of supports, what are you going to do with that? What, support? Support the supports? You know? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, uh, it's, it's a bit useless when you, whenever you just have supports. So you want to build DPS characters and support characters. And you just and it was same with um ele like elements. So you want to you want to make sure that you have uh, a range of elements too, because obviously um it's gonna help. Uh, so there's a lot of bosses, especially in like the worlds. If you want to clear the worlds and the halls, then you're gonna need to um have a range of different elements because a lot of them will be much weaker to see. Uh, ice or fire or something like that. And if you don't have one of those characters, then you could be severely, um, you could be severely, you know, disadvantaged. What characters do you want if you don't get Hemiko? To be honest, I've got all the characters that I really want. That like, dead ass. I I want uh, like that's all the character. This, these are all the characters that like, whenever I first looked at the game, I was like, damn, I want that character. Apart from Hemiko, all of them I've got now. But um, there there are some that are interesting and that I do want to get, such as like Welt. Welt would be interesting because he's got like a different, he's got a different uh, element type which I don't have yet. I don't think I don't think so. Um, what other characters do we have? There there are some other characters. Oh wait, we hit thirty six. Oh hell yeah. Um, so there are some other characters that like do interest me, but like I don't really want them that badly, you know, like um. Uh, uh, to be honest, Clara maybe for the tankiness, but apart from that, is yeah, it doesn't really bother me. Uh, did I finish Bellabog? Yes, I did. I did finish uh, Bellabog. Uh, I finished the other place as well. No, I haven't finished the other place. I've um, what do you call it? I've I've got up to here and finished all the story I can possibly finish in uh, Zhangshou Lufu. Uh, use Tingyun ult on Sila. It adds ult her ult energy. I know. I know it does. <laughs> it... He has a good ult. He stunned enemy. Oh, really? Okay. Who's my favorite character? My favorite character... If you couldn't tell by the title and me talking about them the entire stream... Obviously, uh, you're a new messenger, so maybe you haven't been here. But it is It is obviously... Uh, uh, what's it called? Himika. Uh, where's, her, where's her thingy? Where did I put her thingy? Uh, it's here. I got a I got a weapon and we're literally just waiting to be able to get um well we're just waiting to get her her on the pool or on guaranteed. 
How do you level up fast? How do you level up fast? That's an interesting question. Um, so, as I said, not the worst idea to use your fuel. Not the worst idea at all. So, to get level ups, what you want to do is just, obviously, the first thing is to grind up quests. So, you see these quests, this quest menu? Yeah, you, you, if you don't have many here, you can always go to your messages, message some of these people, they will give you quests, which will give you about, it depends which quests they are, it can range from about 100 to 300 to about 600 XP. So you could get a 600 XP max, and then also another good way is literally just by farming, thank you, uh, is literally just by farming um, any calyxes, so... Calyxes, if I go to the Calyxes here, if you if you have them unlocked, I'm, I'm assuming you do. So you could either do these ones if you need certain materials. So you, this this you can use your fuel on because you, you get 50 XP for each one. You do it six times, you get 300 XP per go. And so that's 300 XP per fuel. So if you use about 10 of them fuel, you, you got 3000 XP and you're already pretty much at the next level. Depending on what level you're at, you you could probably go up like three levels if you're super low leveled. So yeah, yeah, I think it's I think it's a good idea to but obviously don't use all your fuel. I'm not telling you to like waste all your fuel. Save your fuel as much as you can. But like if you need to get a, to a certain level, it's not bad to use your fuel just to farm stuff. Just just like farm, but farm useful things. Don't farm pointless things. So don't farm artifacts or relics. Don't do that. Wait till you can get the five stars. But if you want to farm credits. Want to farm uh, level up materials? Want to farm artifact materials? You just yeah, you can use your field on that because you will use that in the future. So those are things you can use in the future, and it will help you. Um, so yeah, that that's a those are two ways you can like level up fast. And yeah, to level up fast, just do dailies and story quests. Yeah, so dailies as well. Dailies is a good thing. Um, so yeah, you got your daily quests here. Wait here, no. Yeah, daily quests, and yeah, you just need to complete like four of these, five maybe, I don't know, it says I've only completed four here, but you, yeah, it gives you 100, and then you get XP for each, yeah, 200 XP, 200 XP, well, 260 XP for each one, that's like a thousand, wait, is that a thousand? If I do my math correctly, 80, yeah, that's almost, a, yeah, like a thousand, that's over a thousand, for just doing a daily, you know, and, you know, at the moment, it's only 3,000 XP I need, so, you know. No, those are some ways you can just ex like level up quickly, and yeah, this is a pretty pretty decent way. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah. Dailies five like over a thousand XP. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right, let's get this free wish here, and yeah, this is a good way if you really need pools. Obviously, uh, yeah, you wanna you wanna ascend characters as well as much as you can. OG, who tell just did two hundred K. Let's go. Oh, nice. Who tell is uh. Yeah, I I'm a very big Hutal fan. I have Hutal myself. She could do a, I think she's done about three hundred thousand or something like that. Okay, no five star that. Okay, okay. But yeah, uh, those are some ways you can level up, especially. Um, so I I reckon like early game, if you're like early game still in Bellabog, I just do the quests. Quests and doing your dailies is good, because you don't have much to um, level up. But if you get to like uh, the new place, and you need to level up to level 34, was it? Then I'd start using your fuel, because that's what really got me to there. If my calculation is correct, 1k XP per day, so you want to level up, you need 3k XP, which means 3 days. So yeah, you could level up every 3 days just for doing your dailies. But, like, if you add that on top of quests and doing stuff like fighting, um, these kind of plate like the Calyxes and stuff, then, yeah, it's great. And also, one thing that people shouldn't forget, this is really to have XP, well, it's kind of due to XP, is it's to do with leveling, really. But don't forget to talk to, um, to Pom Pom. You get free stuff. Like, free wishes. If, if you want free wishes and stuff, okay, I didn't get any this time. But if you look in the past, what I get? Fuel, wish, fuel, fuel. You get more fuel, which means you can level up more. That's also why uh, using your fuel to level up isn't so bad, because you can just like, you can use the, so you use the fuel to level up, and then Pom Pom will just give you more fuel. <laughs> Obviously not as much as you did have, but yeah, that's fine. Right, we're going to do this. We're going to do uh, Forgotten Hall. Ooh, wait, we can get a weapon. 
Which weapon should we get? Which weapon should... To be honest. I kind of want that one. I don't care what it does. I just like the picture. But um, uh, Increases the break effect dealt by wearer and increases the damage to enemies afflicted by shock or wind shear. Uh, that doesn't really do much for me. That's a shame. Uh, river flows and... I think, I've, I think I've got most of these. Oh, no. I need past and future, actually. We're going to get past and future because I need that one for something. I forgot what it was. I remember just seeing it on a build somewhere and I was like, oh, yeah, I need that weapon. So... We'll find out what it does <laughs> at some point. Okay, yeah, so here... Ooh, actually, we could quickly build... Oh, wait, no, they're weak to these as well. Uh, wait, hang on, let's have a little look at our bosses. I did struggle with this one last time. So, we, c uh, we could be really lucky or really unlucky. Is this song from Oshinoko? Yes, yes, it is. Yes. Okay, let's, let's build our Sushang real quick. Actually, no, 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 no. Uh, wait, yes, 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 yes. I'm, I'm going back to my decision. We're building Sushang. Right, hold up. Uh, what will work well? We're just going to use this one. Increases attack speed and damage. Pretty decent. Mm, okay, that's fine. Uh, and then we can just... To be honest, relics... At the moment, I don't really care about relics too much. Just because of... Right, that's, that's decent. Um, I don't care about relics too much just because... I need to farm the five-star ones. Uh, oh, okay. This is pretty decent. Deals physical damage. Let's just level this up as much as we can. Because I think this will be quite useful for just defeating these bosses in whenever we get to them. Uh, okay, level up. Sula is a single target and somehow she kills everyone at her first turn. Yeah, exactly. She, although she's single target, she can f uh, like fight multiple times, which is really useful. Um... We uh, do anything else? No, we can't. Okay, cool. Let's just quickly attack. Yeah, all right. I don't really care what's on these. Just level them up. Cause, uh, yeah, relics actually really help you out as well. If you didn't know, if no one knows, relics actually very good. <laughs> who who would have guessed? Relics actually help you. Um, I didn't realize that whenever I started playing at first. Uh, which is yeah. They are super useful for just getting you through stuff. I was dying constantly. Like, don't worry. I know you're going to, like, you're going to worry because you want to save all your level up materials and stuff for, you know, your five star artifacts and stuff, or relics, or whatever you want to call them. Your five star relics. But, but it, it can help you defeat so many bosses, like, earlier. If you get what I mean. So, like, I was struggling really badly with, um, ooh, let's. Uh, I can't really use Bronya's. I guess this is fine. Um, so, yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of stats they are. As long as you have any stats. Any stats is better than none. Especially early game. Because uh, technically I'm not late game yet. I need to get to level f like 40. To be able to get level 5 artifacts. But thing is. I can't not upgrade artifacts. Because I can't defeat anything with without like um, leveling them up. So this is why it's actually useful to level up your relics or artifacts. I keep calling them artifacts. I'm just going to call them artifacts because same thing. Okay, we got some crit rate, some effect res. See, we, we got you get some decent like stats sometimes, and yeah, it's 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 not bad to actually level these up. Uh, and also the thing is, uh, just like artifacts, if you have one leveled up, it will help you level it up in the future. Right. Let's do. So we're going to do Bailu. Bronya, Sila, and uh, Sushang. Hopefully, this will be good. Give Sila quantum damage bonus set soon? Yeah, I will. So, um, there are... This is what I mean. I'm not late game yet. So, once I get to late game, I will put... The, I, I know what artifact sets I need. And I know where I can get them, but I don't want to farm for them yet, because, you know, they're, they're, they're crap and, like, level 5, you know? Uh, not level 5, um, 4 stars and stuff. So, I want to wait until I can actually get the 5 star pieces to you know, farm it. So for now, I'm just going to go with these, what I've got, until I get to level 40, which should be like quite soon, I'd say. Because, you know, I've got to level 35 in about five days or something. And so, yeah, right, we'll, we'll see. Uh, that, thank you, uh, uh, Booba Sword, for the, uh, for the, uh, <laughs> for the follow. <laughs> Welcome. I can, I can see where you got that name from, but I think I know what game you like. <laughs> Okay, so Sushak's actually pretty useful. Um, 
we kind of need heals. Um, let's boost Sushang. Uh, boost her again. What game? It's from from Genshin. From Genshin. It's it's a uh, it's a uh, Raiden Shogun uh, reference. You know she pulls a sword out of her boobs. <laughs> that sounds really weird to say, <laughs> but it's true. Okay. Um. Oh, I probably should have. Uh, that's fine. I wonder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I know my target audience. Okay, and then. Oh crap! I didn't have enough. Okay, it's fine. I g yeah, all right, all right, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. She just res. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> I should have really not used that energy there. Th that's also a big thing in um, Honko that you need to watch out for, is energy just management. You need to like, understand how much energy you've got, <laughs> because you could run out really quickly, and a lot of characters are energy heavy. You just need to learn to use it like effectively, you know? So like things like support, you want to um, like these support um, mechanics for Bronya, you want to prioritize getting your energy for, and just yeah, just overall using using um, your energy effectively is like is the key to this game. <laughs> if you don't use your energy effectively, then you're probably gonna die, like most of the time. <laughs> and also just like using the correct elements as well. Don't just don't just go in there like say you've got like a lightning uh what you got a lightning boss uh, no a uh, lightning weak boss don't just go in there with quantum <laughs> I don't care how much how good your sealer is don't just go in there with just quantum characters and maybe like a I don't know a wind or something you 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 want to go in there with the characters that can affect it yeah you can revive your characters if you mess up with Bailu yeah exactly that's why Bailu's OP. But obviously, I think a lot of characters in the future will also be able to do that. So, you know, it. it so that there, there, there is a big problem with a lot of gacha games and just games in general that there is something known as power creep, and a lot of people don't think that it will happen in Honkai, and I don't think it will happen massively in Honkai Eve. Okay, I thought that was gonna die. Um, I don't think it's gonna happen massively in Honkai Eva, but it could. And if it does, then it's a lot of these characters aren't going to be so good in the future. But honestly, from a lot, what a lot of people are saying, and what yeah, and what I'm and what I'm saying, I don't think the characters will be that bad. It, I don't I don't think characters will, will get that much worse. Like me, there will be characters that will come out, and you, they might you know, there's going to be like a new healer that comes out, and they might be better than Bailu, you know. But it doesn't mean that Bailu is bad at all. Bailu is great. Um, but it just means you get better, and honestly, I don't mind that because you know you could just you could just get that character too, <laughs> you know. Now you got two healers. Obviously, you don't. Uh, it's not like maybe they will introduce something like that, like they're doing Genshin, where you have multiple teams, so you need to build more than four characters. But I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Should have saved that, but it's fine. Don't use too much heal if you, your characters are above fifty, so you can manage skill points better. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Tushang used to summon a huge sword. Now she summons a chicken. Wait, really? Was it a huge sword? I w was that like really early beta though? Was that the first beta? Because I remember seeing clips on the first beta, and yeah, it looks so different. Even like the wish stuff looks so different. Uh, right. Let's do this. Oh, in Honkai. Oh, okay. So Tushang used to do it in Honkai. I just got an achievement that says my opponent has poor connection. <laughs> Wait, what? How do they have poor connection? Aren't they NPCs? Yeah, I didn't really play much Honkai Impact 3rd, so uh, if you, yeah. Uh, I, I don't really know much about that kind of stuff. I, I did play a little bit. I, I just didn't really like the, the game. I, like, I, I played it. I played like the, the start of it. And I was like, okay, this is, this is a pr pretty decent game. I, I like it. And then I got to like some of the free roam stuff. And honestly, some of the some of the buildings there, they look like they were straight out of like PS2. And I was like, what's going on? Not that the game's bad. Uh, there's a lot of people that enjoy it, and I, I can get why they I, I see why they enjoy it. But it just wasn't for me. And I was a little bit late to the whole game as well. <clears throat> the Pokeball achievement has got to be my favorite one. Wait, what's the Pokeball achievement? I don't know what that what that one is. Uh, the okay, let's do this one. Let's restore. 
Okay, I thought that was going to hit Sealer then, but it didn't. <laughs> don't mess with me. Why Bailu ult heal kind of sucks? No, I don't think so. Bailu's ult is actually pretty decent. And also, <clears throat> the fact that... Um, whew, that's a lot of damage. Uh, the fact that she can revive as well and do all this other stuff. And that her her um, skill can actually... Um, what do you call it? Her skill can heal more than one person, and characters like Natasha can only heal one. I think uh, that that makes a big difference to how, like, how good a character is. See, like, she's being rezzed here. Uh, okay, I can't do anything about that, though. Um, you kill the treasure pig in the simulated world universe, and it gives it... Oh, okay, that's cool, that's cool. Right, can we take this guy out? Okay, maybe... Oh, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we can do this. I think we can do this. Okay, we need a slight smidge of damage. This one single attack should do. Nice. Nice. We just have to take that. This guy. Boom. And done. Nice. So that's, what's that, floor uh, nine of this done? Is that floor nine? I don't know. That's a cool achievement though. Wait, why is it called, like, the Pokeball achievement, though? Oh, wait, we need two star debt? Wait, oh, when it, when we've at least two, 12 cycles? That sucks. Oh, I wish I could have got more. It's fine. Uh, oh, we got a little, what's this, a little achievement? Oh, get to stage nine. Okay, what do we need to do this? Enhance four light cones to level 50. We could do this one. Uh, So, we need to, definitely this one. We need to level up this one. Ascend. Oh, we can do this now? Cool. And, uh, th yeah, that's the good thing. I farmed a bit of this as well while farming XP. So, it is quite nice. So, whenever you farm for XP using your fuel, it is quite nice whenever you, um, you farm with fuel, and then you also get all this extra stuff. See, like, I'm at, like, 1.3 mil currency. 1.3 mil, yeah. And, um... <clears throat> It, it's quite nice, because I don't have to worry about farming for it in the... F well, I, I probably will in the, like, f far future, but right now, I don't really need to worry about it too much. Okay, well, let's upgrade Bronya's weapon. Uh, so... Okay, we need to fight Kallax for this one. Do you play any online games? Uh, yes, sometimes. To be honest, at the moment, I haven't, just because of... Uh oh Just because of Honkai. They don't see me, they don't see me. Um... Just because of uh, Honkai and stuff, I haven't really been playing many. But I play stuff like Apex and stuff like that. Uh, what do we need for this? Ah, yeah, that's that's a pretty decent team. So, yeah, I, I do play some online games. Uh, what else do I play? I don't really play much, to be honest. I used to play a lot. Let's just say that. <laughs> but, yeah, I, 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 my first ever stream was on uh, Apex. <laughs> and Apex is a horrible game to stream. Like, just in terms of... Uh, what do you call it? The actual, um, I forgot, I forgot, like, the actual technical, um, capabilities of it. Oh my days, man. It, it just, it just crashed all the time. It just crashed all the time. So, and, like, I prefer playing Genshin on stream. And obviously I'm a, a Genshin, or well, not Genshin, just, like, gacha game content creator. So, it's just, it just made more sense to stream this anyways, because it's e easier to run. And it's just, you know, a, a better... A, a better game. <laughs> well, no, no, okay. The, the game isn't necessarily better, but, like, I prefer playing it, and it runs better. So, you know, that's that's why I don't stream stuff like that. And also, people just enjoy this content more. And I, I like giving people advice on, um, you know, stuff that they may not know. <clears throat> the Apex, Apex stream is scuffed. Yeah, I know. The Apex stream is so bad. <laughs> I don't even know what happened there. <laughs> I don't even know what happened. We just need to... So, how many... Of these weapons do we need to get up? I think we need to get, what, one more was it? Hopefully I can get enough from this. Uh, yeah, but uh, pretty much, I was saying that um, don't just like level up all these, um, all, like every single character. No, well, I said level up them up, but don't like build like, what was I saying? Don't just build the uh, like one full team, like broaden your options, but also don't broaden them too much. You know, so like what I'm doing now is whenever I want to upgrade a weapon or whatever like that, I want to actually focus on the characters that I've got. So like my Bronya and my Sealer, 
I'm focusing on getting their weapons before I get any other character's weapons. If if that if you get what I mean. So it's yeah, it's better to focus on them, but not hard like hard focus on them. Because <laughs> obviously, yeah, I want these characters to be the best they can be, but also I don't want the other ones to fall behind. Can I actually upgrade? Okay, I can. Who is the luckiest player you know on pool? <sighs> I don't know. There's a lot of people in the Discord which um they they they're pretty lucky. I saw somebody got two sealers earlier. I was like, bro, what the hell? How do you get that? I want their luck. I want what they're having. Um, can I get these? Oh, wait, can I get these number? Oh, I can. Okay. Let's just get them all. <laughs> Let's just get them all. I, I, I don't care at this, this point. Let's just get everything. I have so much embers. It's insane. All right, let's let's make a couple of these. I used to be mad lucky, but now it's just horrible. Yeah, like sometimes I get really lucky. I have little streaks of where I get really lucky. Sometimes it just goes down the drain, and I'm just like, oh, what's going on, man? What's going on? Wait, why did I do that? Auto adds terrible on this game. It always puts like the low level weapons in there rather than the actual upgrade materials. Your friend's got your friend got two five stars on the temple. Oh my days, that's really lucky. I don't think I've ever gotten two five stars on a temple in like any game. Apart from actually no Nikkei I did. Nikkei I got three at once. But um yeah, apart from that, no. Uh right. Do I need to do one more? No? Is that enough? That's enough. Okay. Nice. Have we completed any of these? No, we haven't. Right, we've got a free wish. Chat, we're gonna do we're gonna do this wish. Let's see what we get. All say that Brolia is really good, but my first five star pool is Brolia, and she doesn't really boost my team. I don't like her. Oh, really? I think it is pretty hard to spot, but I don't think uh, she does actually boost your team. Maybe you don't have much. To, it could be the characters that you're boosting; they they could not deal as much damage, uh, which is which could be the reason why. But yeah, I, I don't know. We'll, you just 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 keep trying with her and just like just experiment with different teams and just see how much damage she does. Right. Uh, should we do? What should we do? What should we do? Let's do. We could do an Echo of War. To be fair, let's do this one. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. I'll do this one. Uh, but yeah. Don't worry too much about your Bronya though. Your Bronya should be fine. My team is too underpowered. Okay. Well, actually, I did say this was gonna be a short stream, so I might actually end it here. Sorry it's so short, it's only been like an hour and a bit. I'm so sad, I wanted Brodia for my sealer, but it got Japard. Oh no. Oh no. Um, yeah. Uh, hang on. Right, so I'm gonna find someone to raid, because I know you guys like the drops and everything. So we're, I'm gonna find someone to raid that will actually, uh, drop. Yeah, so I, I've, I've, I streamed like three days in a row the other day. And I know, there's a lot of people coming to the server, so... I was like, okay, I'll I'll uh, I'll stream for you guys, but yeah, I'll be back on Tuesday for my debut. So if you, if you want to be there for my uh, VTuber debut, then I will be there. What time do I stream? I always stream at three thirty BST, and I will put it. If you go to my Discord, I will always put out a link, uh, like a a reminder that like a couple hours before. So yeah, you know, it's it's, it's good. Right, let's find someone to raid. Uh, let's raid. Hmm. Let's raid, let's raid. This person? They seem quite nice. Let's listen to them. Hold up. Okay, yeah, they seem nice. Right, we're gonna raid them, they got drops on. So everyone go um say hello, be nice, maybe give them a follow. And yeah, thank you all for the uh the support today, because uh, you guys have been insane. And I I hope to see you in the next stream for my debut because it's gonna be it's gonna be great. And I hope to see like lots of you there. Because, bro, you, you, you aren't ready for this. So, yeah, um, I, I will see you then. And, yeah, bye-bye.